Hello there. Today is November 28th, 2008. I am currently 24 weeks and 5 days. I know it's been a long time since I made a video, but things have been kind of crazy, and my video uploader for my computer broke, so I couldn't make videos using my webcam. So, today, being Black Friday, I sent my brother-in-law Nick out to get me a great deal on a digital camcorder so I'll be able to make videos and put them right up on YouTube as much as they want. Yay! So excited. So that's exciting. Um, a lot has happened in the past six, seven weeks. So I'm just going to go through and tell you what's been going on, how I've been feeling, all that. Um, I had my 24 week checkup Monday. Everything is good. I had another ultrasound check the location of the placenta because last time it was a little close but now it's far away and moved and everything is good so there's no chance of placenta previa at this time uh, everything is good with my appointment um I haven't had any problems uh, you know everything looks normal um let's see here I received info on signs of labor and I <coughs> got my lab set lab slip to do the gestational diabetes test. Again, I did it um, in the beginning of my pregnancy through a different doctor who does it in the beginning and I had to do the first one hour one and then I had to go back and do the three hour one and that was just torturous. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that within a week or two is when they prefer it between 26 and 28 weeks. I'm almost 25 weeks here on Sunday so you know I'll probably do that within a week or so. My next appointment will be December 22nd and Zach will be around then he'll go with me to that appointment just so he can be involved since he'll be in town and that'll be fun. I'll probably make a lunch date out of it or something. Be fun. Um, I already went ahead and pre-registered online for the hospital. They have it so you can get all signed up so when it's time you just show up and they'll have your information and all your insurance stuff on file and it'll be easier that way and it's all taken care of. Um, I've been having a lot of symptoms, both good and bad. <coughs> <coughs> Lately, I've been sick. The past six weeks, uh, I've been rough. Uh, the past three weeks, of these six weeks, I've had a cough and cold, sore throat thing, and the whole house has it, and it's terrible and disgusting, and I apologize if I cough at you. But, um, I tried Robitussin, and it made me vomit. And the next morning, I tried eating, and it made me vomit. So, the coughing gets me choked up and it's just like, ugh, it's terrible. Um, other than that issue of eating too much in the morning and uh, with the coughing and everything get me sick, I've had some indigestion and heartburn and I never ever got anything like that before I was pregnant. I never had heartburn, you know, I never had to take any antacid tablets or anything like that. So that was, it's <laughs> been a struggle for me because I don't like taking those chalky things, but Last night, it was just so bad after turkey dinner, I just had to try them, and I did, and I'm glad I did, because it went away right away, and it was relieved, and it was like, ah, now I can go to sleep without feeling like I'm going to vomit. So, yay, not vomiting. Um, I've been having a lot of lower back pain, where it's the bottom of my lumbar, <coughs> and anytime I'm, even when I'm sitting or standing for a while, it can start to act up and um, bending over is kind of out of the question when it's hurting and it's been pretty rough and at the appointment I asked the doctor what are some things I could do and pretty much all she did was hand me a pamphlet about how to deal with back pain when you're pregnant. So there's a couple stretches in there that I'm going to try doing and just try stretching pretty much is all you can really do is try stretching and if it's really bad take you know Tylenol or ibuprofen but you know there's not much you can do the only time it feels good when it's like that is if I'm just completely horizontal, <laughs> flat, and uh, I can't really do that at work, so I kind of suffer during that. Um, let's see, well, I've been having, um, went to Chicago a couple weekends ago with the, my sister and brother-in-law, we went and visited a friend out there, and um, did some shopping, and it was really rough because there's a lot of stores in the Mason Mile, and I was up for going to all of them, except I kept getting um, side pain in my ribs on my left side, the whole side went all the way around my back, just complete cramping and pain. I don't know if it was from the baby 
taken my ribs quite yet. I don't know if it's possible for that to be happening, but it kind of felt like that to where it was just completely sore. I had to sit down. I couldn't move. It was just ridiculous. And of course, there's no benches on the streets of Chicago. I don't know why they do that, but to torture me, I suppose. But, um, so that was rough, and, you know, it definitely was worn out after that trip, all that walking. But other than that, it was fun. You know, we didn't really buy much at all, but it was neat to see all the buildings. We went on the Ferris wheel, and, yeah, it was pretty exciting. Um, for my last appointment, uh, at 18 weeks from that ultrasound appointment to the 24-week appointment, I gained 9 pounds, totaling all together 12-pound gain. And, yeah, I'm not happy about that because I wanted to take it slow and I was hoping I'd only gained maybe 10 pounds or less by now. But my belly has grown a lot and I'm guessing, you know, I've only been eating when I'm hungry and when <coughs> I'm feeling dizzy and, you know, like they recommend. And I'm still gaining the weight. It makes me really nervous that it's going to keep going at this pace. I mean, right now I'm in the six-month range. What's it going to be like in three, four more months, you know? Am I going to gain 50, 60 pounds? You know, the doctor has only told me to gain 15 to 20 pounds because I was already slightly overweight, according to the BMI index. So that's really <laughs> disappointing. So um, I'm just going to try to take easy. And, I mean, I, I got to eat, you know. It's just what I'm eating, I think, is a problem. Um, I've been trying to eat my cheese and yogurts and milks and juices, but sometimes maybe really want some french fries, you know, and I can't, I can't, I don't know, you know, I just can't say no french fries for you, because then I'll get really angry, and he'll be, uh, well, you know, do nothing, but I'll be very hungry and cranky, and that's not cool. So, I'm just been trying to manage those cravings and trying to resist, and, you know, I know I'm going to gain weight, and I know I can deal with it after the baby's born, and exercising and dieting and everything. It's just a struggle, and seeing it change so quickly, and seeing your body change and get those stretch marks out of nowhere, and it's just like, wow, I just don't understand how some women don't get them at all, and then others get them really bad, and I guess I'm in that pretty bad category, unfortunately, so you probably won't be seeing my actual belly until I'm way far along, because it's pretty gross. So, that sucks, but you know what, it's all for a good reason, and, you know... It'll be worth it. It'll definitely be worth it. We've been throwing around some name ideas um, and mix and match and some of the different options that we have and everything's been going really good with that. Just, you know, taking our time. We have a little list and once we meet them we'll be able to limit that list down real quick, I'm sure. Um, <coughs> my belly's really popped out in the past six weeks. The past six weeks have been major in growth with me. Um, my stomach is just popping out and his kicks are getting stronger and stronger and stronger every day and more 